Well, joining me now is Carol Olson, the executive director of Lee's Friends. Welcome, Carol. Thank you. Glad so to be here. First, just tell me a little bit about what Lee's Friends is. Uh, I'd be happy to. Um, so in 1978, Lee Harkins um, lost her battle to cancer. She was diagnosed with non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and was treated for approximately 15 months. And while she was sick, she saw a lot of people in our community who go without, um, without transportation, without emotional support, um, without things that we all take for granted. And Lee, in her um, 15 years, um, wiser than most people are in l much longer lives, um, recognized the need for these people to have that type of service. So she, along with nine family friends, formed what is today um, Lee's Friends, and we provide free service to the cancer community here in Hampton Roads and have done so happily for the last 41 years. Wow. Um, we will be celebrating our 41st anniversary on March 1st, and we will be presenting our third annual Legacy Award to our friends at Virginia Oncology Associates. Um, it's an award that we created to honor individuals and organizations um, who embody our motto of helping people live with cancer. So um, we provide free uh, resources in terms of transportation to and from doctor's appointments, chemo treatments, radiation wow. therapy, um, all done free by volunteers using their own cars and two cars that we own. We have volunteers who go through our training course and provide emotional support to cancer patients Having done this for a long time, we know you'll tell complete strangers things you won't tell your best friend or your spouse or your children. Right. Um, so these volunteers are compassionate individuals that provide caring, comfort, and support um, to individuals cancer patients and their family members who may be in need of help. Um, we know from having done this for a long time that you'll um, sometimes be the patient and fine with your situation, but the people around you are all falling apart and they could use support. So Lee's Friends is a place that those people can turn to as well. We have a small supply closet where we have walkers, potty seats, wheelchairs um, that we can loan or donate to individuals who, for whom this would make their lives a little bit easier. So that's in a quick nutshell what we do. Wow, that's a lot. It and is. I'm sure you need volunteers constantly. So oh if someone gosh. is listening and wants to volunteer, yes. how do they become a part of um, this? They, all they need to do is call our office and set up an opportunity to come in and meet with our patient and volunteer coordinator, Susan Lawler. Um, she will introduce them to the organization in depth and find out what it is that they want to do for us. We have volunteer opportunities across the board. Um, if you want to help us, there's an opportunity for you. We will make sure that there's a good fit. Um, but we are always in need of volunteers, yes. And if anyone's listening and needs the assistance of Lee's friends, how do they reach out? How do they get help? Absolutely. Um, all it takes is a quick phone call and an ask. Um, we help cancer patients and their family members. Um, our phone number is 757-440-7501. We do have an answering machine and we are excellent at taking messages off the machine and returning phone calls. And if anyone is listening and they don't have time to volunteer and you know they don't have anyone they know that might need the help, is there another way they can help? Is there donations they can make to you all? Absolutely. Um, we have a wonderful saying at least, friends, that we need you to share your time, your talent, and your treasure. So if you don't have time and you don't have talent, which I question both of those, um, <laughs> I think you can carve out a little bit of time, but we would certainly welcome your treasure. We are a 501c3, um, so tax um, deductions are um, allowed for individuals who donate to us, and individuals donate um, money, they donate uh, stocks and bonds, they donate um, uh, we have been left in wills for memorials, proceeds of homes and whatnot. So yes, um, uh, Treasure is a wonderful way to help us continuing the work of, of Lee, who when she was 16 and lost her battle, I don't think anybody ever realized that 41 years later, we would still be doing the work that she knew was so important in our community. Anything else you want to add? Well, um, we appreciate our friends at Channel 13 letting us come and spread the word because we can only do um, work in our community if we are able to get the word out about our need for volunteers and about the services that we provide to the cancer community here free of charge. Carol, thank you so much for joining me. Thank today. you. We'll be right back.
Welcome back to Coastal Connections. January is the month for New Year's resolutions and one environmental awareness group is wanting to make sure one of those resolutions is minimizing waste. I'm joined now by Katie and Wayne. Good morning to both of you guys. Good morning. Talk to me about what your operation is and what you're trying to strive for people to do. Sure, so AskHRGreen.org um, is the group that we're representing and um, we work with um, locality representatives from all across Hampton Roads, so all 17 jurisdictions, um, just to help get the word out about environmental education um, and best practices. So um, Wayne is one of our team members mm -hmm. from the city of Suffolk um, and we get together on a regular basis and just talk about how we can help educate the public on ways that they can and live a little greener and have less of an impact on the environment. Um, so one big way we're talking about for the new year is just to minimize waste. Unfortunately, there's not a perfect solution for dealing with our trash. Um, right. As much as we try to do the right thing, um, even when it comes to recycling, there are certain things that can't be recycled. And um, when we're kids and we learn the three R's, recycling is always the last one. The first one is reduce. So it's reduce, reuse, and then recycle. Um, so we really wanted to focus on that reduction um, in the new year and give people some fun tips on ways they can do that. Um, so the first thing that comes to mind is single-use plastics. Mm -hmm. Okay. And they are... Um, they are Doors, yes. uh, plastic bottles, plastic bags. We live in a very convenient culture where we want things um, you know, to be convenient and uh, we're not perfect. So right. this time of year we're asking people to maybe make some new resolutions um, on things that they can do to reduce single use plastics. Um, a lot of these items get into our waterways through the storm drain system mm -hmm. and into the rivers. I do a lot of river cleanups in Suffolk and we're pulling out straws and plastic bags and styrofoam. If you've ever done a cleanup, you, um, you know that styrofoam breaks up into all these little tiny pieces yes. and it takes forever to pick up. So right. um, for me personally, my resolution is to cut the styrofoam out, um, you know, make better decisions in that regard. But if you can do things like um, the straws, take a reusable straw, um, the bag to the store. I'm terrible at remembering the bag, so I have one on a key ring, oh, wow. which even when I'm at the store, I remember that I have this, so I'm lucky in that way. Um, your coffee cups, um, you can take your cutlery, um, you know, if you've got kids, these are great for picnics and stuff. Nice. Um, but yeah, just making changes in your lifestyle, just small changes um, that hopefully will make you know, bigger, bigger changes in the world and, and then, you know, in regards to um, teaching your kids and, and things like that. That's a big one too with kids because it's such a convenience. Mm -hmm. But um, like I have a three-year-old, he has a young son. Um, when it comes to packing lunches, you know, there are ways to do it with like bento boxes where um, you're not doing individually packaged snacks in little, um, you know, plastic bags and you can buy larger things in bulk and put them in their individual portions. My son loves to pick out his own reusable straw when he's making drink choices. It's like a fun thing for him to do. And it's a good thing for the environment too. Um, packaging is another thing to keep yeah. in mind when you're shopping. Um, try and choose options that have the least amount of packaging. Um, when it comes to like soap, you could you could opt for a bar of soap that's in a, a, a paper box instead of um, shower gel that's in mm -hmm. a plastic container. Yeah, I was in the store the other day and there was a potato wrapped in plastic and you know one single potato. one single potato in plastic. <laughs> that kind of decision making, you know. Right, exactly, and. All of these are easy access to find these and get mm -hmm. a tote and take it to the store and the keychain. I gotta ask, where does someone find such a keychain? Oh, there's loads of places online that will <laughs> that will uh, chico bags. Um, this one is just good for me. It just that's it. Uh, so yeah. convenient. Yeah. So Save me a lot of plastic. And there are a lot bags. of ways to have your own personal expression in doing it. So find bags that you like mm -hmm. um, that reflect who you are. Um, you know, drink reusable drink containers. You guys have nice ones there as well. Um, but it's a personal reflection of you, and it's also a way to you know to go green. Yeah, really help so, out. Yeah. Yep. And anyone that has questions on, you know, how to go green or more tips on how they can be more green in our environment, where can they go to find information? So we'd love for you to come to askhrgreen.org. That's our website as well as our group name. We're on Facebook, we're on Instagram, we're on Twitter. Look at us, look for us at, ask, um, at askhrgreen.org. Uh, we'd love to see you there. Uh, we go to a lot of events and we try and hand out items mm -hmm. like this to make it easier for people to have access to them. But um, I think one thing we just want to make sure we leave as a takeaway is that we just need to like think about these things when we're making purchasing decisions. When we go out to a restaurant, tell your waiter or waitress in advance, no straw please, because it's a, a common habit that mm -hmm. they're going to give you one automatically. And so rethinking how we have those interactions is a big part of it. Okay. Yeah. Wayne, Katie, thank, thank you, you so much for joining thank me. Thank you. We'll be right back.
Welcome back. Well, the 12th annual Samoa Soiree is happening soon, and joining me to talk about it, some Girl Scouts involved. Welcome, Erica and El Elsa. <laughs> Elsa. I'm gonna get it, you guys. I'm gonna get it. Elsa and Erica, thank you for joining me. Talk to me a little bit about what this is. So the Samoa Soiree is a really fun event that we have. It is 21 and up, um, so it's for our adult population. Um, no Girl Scouts will be there, but the great thing about it is we are using Girl Scout cookies. We have a lot of local chefs in the area coming out, and they are going to create savory dishes, sweet dishes, and there's a little bit of a competition aspect as well. Um, there's live entertainment. Um, there's some surprises up our, up our sleeves this year, um, okay. and we have a Mardi Gras theme going on. It's going to be a lot of fun. Now on the table right now, these are actually made from cookies, what we have on the table. Talk to me about that. Yes, so, you know, if one of your resolutions is to get more in the kitchen and get more creative, mine is I eat the same thing every day. Right. <laughs> we have some fun recipes uh, made with Girl Scout cookies. This is our coconut Samoa uh, shrimp. So they are fried shrimp with the coconut flakes from the Samoas. It's about one cookie per shrimp what? if you're someone like me. <laughs> okay, one cookie per shrimp, there we go. Um, how can someone come to this event what do they need to do? So all they need to do is visit our website at gsccc.org. Um, we have the link to buy tickets um, on their on the website. Um, they do increase in price at the end of the month, so make sure you go ahead and get them soon. Um, they are $45. Just visit our website and you can see some of our past winners and some really tasty dishes that we've had in the past and get excited about what's coming up in February. All right, and Elsa, you were telling me you actually have a project you're working on. Talk to me more about that. Yes, so one of the things in Girl Scouts is making the community better. And so one of the things I've noticed is that as a musician, Female repertoire is not generally implemented in general repertoire for music. And so essentially what I'm doing is putting on a performance of the female composers and explaining their lives and pieces and works and essentially trying to raise more awareness for the amazing things that they did. Wow, well good on you. This is an amazing group of people we have. There's a picture of Elsa right there. Anything else that people need to know about what's happening at this soiree this year that they should look up or if they are wanting to come that's kind of the draw this year um, if they're wanting to come so we have a really fun like Mardi Gras themed band as well um, it's a perfect sort of date night um, so definitely tickets for those would be a great Valentine's Day gift okay. um, but it's it's all you can eat all you can sample um, so make sure that you wear something stretchy your stretchy pants <laughs> <laughs> um, but there's a ton of fun stuff happening um, and we have some games and some prizes, and you might be able to kind of figure out a new restaurant that might be your go-to. They, The chefs are super creative, so I'm really excited to see what they have going on this year. And how is this event going to help Girl Scouts? So all proceeds from this event actually go back right into our community and our Girl Scout community. So the money that we raise from ticket sales and things that are happening at the event, we can use to fund programs for the girls. So actually give them that Girl Scout experience and then also fund um, membership and dues and fees for Girl Scouts that may not otherwise have the Girl Scout experience. And this also goes to help projects like what she's doing right now, an amazing project that you're working on as well. So Absolutely. That's amazing. One more time, tell me the information that people need to know to find tickets and get to this event. So it is the Samoa Soiree. It's a Thursday evening, February 20th. It will be at the Weston Hotel in Virginia Beach Town Center. Um, and you go to gsccc.org to find your tickets. Anything else you guys want to add? Um, we really look forward to seeing you guys all there um, and munching on some good stuff with some cookies baked in. All right. Anything you want to add about your project or anything that you're excited about with this? Um, so my project is being held um, March 21st, 1 o'clock at the Chrysler Museum. So it'll be a wonderful free to the public event and we might have some cookies. <laughs> I'm always here for some cookies. If there's Girl Scout cookies involved, I'm there. You guys, thank you so much for joining me thank today. You. We'll be right back. I'm going to munch on some of this food. <laughs> Welcome back. Well, February is Heart Health Month, and joining me more to talk about it now is Beth and Alec. Thank you guys for joining me so much this morning. Talk to me a little bit about this month and kind of what it means and what we've got going on for the community. Right. Well, thank you, Bethany, for having us today. We're real excited. We're here to help you be heart healthy for 2020. So Chesapeake Regional has planned lots of events throughout the month. A lot of things are happening on Wednesdays. 
Um, starting the first Wednesday of the month, we're doing a cholesterol screening okay. in the main lobby of the hospital from 10 to noon. Later on that month, we're doing a blood pressure screening. So it's important to know your numbers. Right. Other things we have going on, we're going to have make this special. We have so many new babies that are born mm -hmm. and we're going to have special red hats for the babies. We're also doing hands-free CPR classes. Oh wow. Because we know like 350,000 people have heart attacks outside the hospital mm. every year. And 70% of those are in the home. And you certainly want to know what to do if a family member has a heart attack. So we're teaching, these are free classes on hands-only CPR. One will be at the main branch library on Cedar Road. And then another class will be, we're going to have it at Big Ugly, the brewing company. <laughs> okay. It will be in the morning, so they're serving <laughs> coffee for that one. Okay. But great opportunities to learn how to do CPR. Absolutely. And then we're finishing up the month with a big event. Um, and we're going to be honoring our um, heart heroes. These are some of our patients who have had heart attacks. They've gone through our cardiac rehab program. Mm -hmm. But the important thing is that they've learned how to make positive lifestyle changes. So some of them will have stopped smoking. They've started a regular exercise program. They're making changes in their um, eating habits. And along with that, we're having a national speaker, Joe Piscatella. And he's going to be there on the 26th. The program starts at 7 p.m. Joe is a national speaker. He's written over 16 best-selling books. But what makes him so special is he had bypass surgery wow. when he was only 32. Mm. And the doctor Ooh. said, Joe, you're not going to live past 40. Wow. Well, Joe now has seen his grandchildren grow <laughs> up. He's in his 70s. Wow. But he has learned how important it is to make heart healthy choices. And he's going to share all of that with us at amazing. that special program. Absolutely yep. amazing. And Alec, how important is it to really focus on your heart health during this time of the month and year round for that matter? Oh, it's, 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 it's crucial. It's crucial. Um, and uh, the, the, the good news is there's no mystery. Okay? Watch what you eat, exercise and get regular, me regular medical checkups, mm -hmm. okay? Um, some people say, well, I, I, I don't think that I'm fat. Well, yeah, you, if you're asking, <laughs> you, you, you kind of are. So um, things that we can do to avoid that, all right? There's uh, exercise, they basically recommend 150 minutes per week of moderate intensity aerobic exercise. You don't have to kill yourself. Right. A lot of people, especially guys, think they gotta be an Olympic athlete. Right. No, just take your dog for a walk. Make it a long walk, but take the dog for a walk. Okay. Now, if you're doing higher intensity exercises, that's about 75 minutes a week. Now, to kind of boil that down, that's about 20 to 30 minutes, um, like five, six days a week. Right. Okay. So it's not impossible. All right. Now, it, but we find all kinds of wonderful reasons not to exercise, like like me this morning. Uh, but um, get out there and take care of it and, and, and just make it happen. And the diet's crucial as well. People just kind of slowly watch. They don't have to make any crucial changes, just watching. That's diet. exactly right. It's moderation, okay? It's moderation. Yes, you can have a, you can have a dessert every night, okay? Every night. But don't Here have the that. biggest bowl of ice cream that you've ever had. I mean, there's, there's it's moderation. Can you eat meat? Yes. But don't eat all meat, okay? Can you have french fries? Yes but have moder uh, eat in moderation. And again, fruits and vegetables can't be overstated. Can't be overstated. And the best part about it is, when you, um, you, 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 you hear the, the, and stop smoking, anyway. Um, and you, you <laughs> That's hear. That's really important. You, you, yeah. you hear, oh well, your blood pressure will go down. Uh, you'll live longer. You won't get, age, you won't get this uh, congestive heart failure. Yeah, here it is. You'll feel better. Absolutely. You'll be able to climb up stairs without being out of breath. Okay, you'll be able to lag less far behind your pets and kids during regular daily life. And you might fit into an airline seat a little bit better. So it's one of those things. It's like you will feel better. So it's not just you gotta check boxes so that you know, your doctor doesn't ride you, okay? It's you will experience real benefit, real benefit. Awesome. And where can people go to find more information on these events happening in February and stuff like that? Um, you can go to Chesapeake Heart Com, and that will list all the different programs that we have going on during the month. But if you need more assistance, 
give us a call at the Lifestyle Center. That number is 312-6132. At the Lifestyle Center, we have a fitness center. We can help you get started in a fitness program. We have an outpatient diabetes program, which is another major risk factor for heart disease. So we can help you with that. And we have a cardiac rehab staff too. All of these can teach you how to make these positive heart health changes. Awesome. Alec, Beth, thank you so much for joining me today. We'll be right back after this. Welcome back. Well, joining me now is the Design Network's Backyard Staycation stars, shall I say, Brian and Kevin Ramsey. Thank you all so much for having me on for, the show. Thank you, Bethany. Talk to me a little bit about Backyard Staycation. What exactly is the show if no one's seen it before? Backyard Staycation is all about our landscaping mojo, and um, it's all filmed locally, and we um, run into people's backyards and womp them up and leave them better than we found them. Okay. So. Womp is an official word. Womp, womp, womp. Correct. is an official <laughs> word. Absolutely. And so what's that really like for you guys? What's the aesthetic like when you guys do this, the whole show? Um, brain, brawn, beauty, beast, kind of. <laughs> that pretty much describes it all. But I conjure up all the crazy ideas and I release them to him to uh, manipulate in the field. So. I put it's, my own twist on what he does, so there is a, a bit of artistic value to what I do. Oh, so <laughs> artistic, yeah. And we actually have, by the way, if you guys didn't catch on, they are twin brothers. <laughs> and we actually do have a show coming to Hampton Roads to kind of help people learn this in a convention to see what it's really like. Indeed, the Hampton VA Home Show at the Hampton Roads uh, Convention Center. It's February 8th and 9th, and we're going to be speaking there. And we're super excited about it. And um, there are a lot of events going on there as well that um, we want to bring up this morning too. Um, talking about uh, folks having a one-stop shopping kind of moment where they can come, of course, listen to us <laughs> ramble. But you know, we have all home experts indoors and out. And so with everyone's busy schedules nowadays, they can come in peruse the Coliseum and ask uh, experts questions and whatnot and know where to go with their own project. Um, there's also um, the convenience of um, staying, oh gosh. <laughs> just staying just, home and actually kind of think, <clears throat> not, not a lot of people know how to do their own projects anymore. They just don't and right. Google, Though DIY it is a great thing. Um, people are always YouTubing everything. Right. And trying to see how to, how to put everything together that they have in their head. And this is an opportunity for them to go in person and actually talk to someone one on one about mm -hmm. how do I get this project Correct. done. And you guys will be there. Is there anything in spe like specifically you'll be speaking on at this event? Yeah, we're actually um, tag teaming with um, Scott and Vanessa Oates from HGTV's Chesapeake Fix. Um, the four of us are going to be on the panel and we're talking all things design indoors and outdoors. Wow. So um, we're going to cover the gamut really. And you know, it's super convenient for folks nowadays that are deciding to stay home and restore and renovate. Again, you know, in this um, show at the Hampton Coliseum is going to be uh, that one-stop shopping Absolutely, moment. and it's more than a one-stop, too. We've got giveaways going on. There's like yes. a $10,000 giveaway happening. Absolutely, which is a big deal. That's huge. I want that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, I don't have any I remodeling. do that, and I still want that. <laughs> exactly, and then, I mean, on here it tells me you can bring your kids. It's very family-friendly. A lot to do at this event. You guys said you did it last year as well. It's just a That's lot right. going on, a lot for everyone to enjoy here. Indeed. Uh -huh. We're definitely um, making sure that everyone's engaged and those with kids have a place to take the kids and while mom and dad can talk to experts, you know, the kids can be engaged with the Home Depot and little craft moments um, there as well, so. Awesome, now is there anything else you wanna add about this event and how special it is? And even if you don't have a project that is right on your mind, you could still come out. If you have any ideas of anything that you've ever wanted to do, you can probably get the question and answer uh, there at the home show. Um, awesome. Like I said, there's plenty of experts there and willing to help out in any way they can. 
anything else you guys want to add about this event? Yeah, I mean, come see us. We're going to be a ball of fun up there, and we're Hopefully super excited about it. my voice will be back. I was saying, yes. be less and, worse. Uh, Lots of honey and lemon for this one, but <laughs> um, it's just exciting to be in our hometown, and we film the show here. We live here, so it's all about giving back and speaking to the community and getting to know everyone. All right. Thank you guys so much for joining me Thank today. You. Thank you. Thank you guys for joining me on Coastal Connections. Have a good day.